So Trump got shot or shot at. Let's talk about it. What's going on, everybody? Look, we got to get into the meat and potatoes of the yesterday's events. It's been a while since a president or somebody attempting to run for president has had some sort of assassination or assassination attempt, but Trump is no regular individual. Now, the last president to get assassinated was John F. Kennedy in 1963, and the last one to have any sort of attempt on his life was Ronald Reagan in 1981. So it's campaign season, and the election is about five months away. So people are really ramping up with the rallies to get to touch grass and get to know people, put eyes on people's faces to really convince them as to why they should be their next electoral candidate. So Trump started hosting a rally in Pennsylvania. Now, Pennsylvania is a Democratic state and Trump is a Republican. And I'm pretty sure you've seen the footage by now, but while he was up there giving his speech, there was not just one shot, but apparently eight shots rung off. One of them, including the one that took out the supposed assailant. It's really unclear. They're not being too descriptive about what happened. You see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Now, naturally, this is a very serious moment. Regardless as to how you feel, on live television, the president's life was attempted on. Now, because we're in the modern day, this is definitely gonna differ from past assassination attempts. Those were attempts where you had to be there or catch it later on the news, you know, not being able to see said violence happen online. But literally, everybody had access to this footage in real time. And even if not in real time, you had it shortly after. And this is serious, it's no joke. But of course, the internet took it to be some sort of joke because the memes went flying. <laughs> Now, I can't necessarily blame them because after he got his life attempted on, former President Trump makes sure that he stands up and sees the people telling the Secret Service, get out of his way so he can raise his fist and give them like a I survive salute. Watch out. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. If Trump can get a moment, he will make that moment great again. Now, I thought some of the memes were kind of hilarious. And if he's taking advantage of the moment, hey, I don't see why the internet can't take advantage of the moment as well. Now, we all still need to recognize how serious this was. But a meme here or there, a dope picture for an album cover or whatever the case may be, this is what this country has come to. I'm just living in it and trying to get a meme off as well. Now, personally, a lot of people feel like this is gonna give Trump a lot of boost in his campaign. And I personally agree. The way that they already view Trump as this political martyr, somebody who is getting targeted by people. To get targeted in real life only boosts his street cred in the eyes of these voters. I'm pretty sure he'll come out to his next rally or whatever saying, they tried to silence me, but hey, you can't silence the truth. You can't silence what's real, etc., etc. And with the looming news that Joe Biden is supposed to step out of the race because of his declining health, this can only help but give Trump the boost that he needs to pretty much secure a victory in my eyes. Now, apparently all this could have been avoided because apparently the Secret Service was told there was going to be an attempt on his life. What were you doing before the shooting happened? And then what did you see in here? I was just hanging, standing there like everybody else, waiting for Trump. And we, as Trump started, we, I noticed two officers that were looking for something or somebody. So I was looking around myself and seeing a guy on top of one of the buildings go in between one building to the next and went and told the officer that he was up there. And when I went back to my spot, I heard that people could s still see the, sh the person from where they were standing. So I checked that out. And when I turned my back is when the shot started. And then it was, it took me a second or two to figure out exactly what it was. So we walked up and probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking, I'm estimating here, I have no idea. We noticed the guy crawling, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey man, guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police were like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. Next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof. Now, very rarely do I ever give police any grace for their incompetence. And today I won't either. I mean, from the pictures of the grounds in which Trump was making his speech, the building gave direct eye line sight to where he would be standing giving his speech. I, I just don't know how they could have miscalculated these things. I'm not gonna take any stances on some of the news that I heard about who's in charge of what, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the day, this 
is just straight up incompetent. Apparently they had snipers trained exactly at that roof as well. And maybe not to be too jump the gunny, it's still stupid. People are speculating that this could be staged, possibly because Project 2025, which is a whole different interesting read, came out and is scaring off of a bunch of young voters. And with the Supreme Court decisions and rulings and stuff like that, maybe his home words on the student loan forgiveness. People are feeling as if Trump isn't in the best graces of a lot of young voters, especially. But Crooked Joe's action today is an illegal, unconstitutional amnesty without approval from Congress. He did that with the tuition and that didn't work out too well. He got rebuked and then he did it again. It's going to get rebuked again, even more so. It's an even more vile attack. But he did that with tuition just to get the publicity for the election. And a lot of people are speculating. They're saying, look at Trump's ear. If he actually got shot at, why isn't there some sort of wound or bullet hole in the ear or something like that? Something that I did not stress in this video was that Trump was actually not shot. I mean, he was shot at, of course, but no bullets touched him at all. It was a shard of glass from his teleprompter that popped off and chipped him in the ear and then he kind of went down because Secret Service took him down or whatever the case may be. Just to be clear, no bullet actually touched the president or ex-president. What I will say is we have to respect the person that also lost their life. And I think that that's not something that's really talked about. Yes, there was an attempt on President Trump's life, but there was also somebody else who lost their life in this situation as well. Um, I heard the shots. I thought it was firecrackers to begin with. Um, somebody over there was screaming, he's been shot, he's been shot. So I made my way over. I said, I'm an emergency department physician. Let me help you. The guy had spun around, was jammed between the benches. He had a headshot here. There's lots of blood and he had brain matter. So uh, I got people there really helpful. I got him up on the bench. Was there only one person shot that you saw? Then I did CPR, did chest compressions as well as a brief form. Corey Comparator was the victim at the Trump rally. And I think it's really nasty that the internet decided to jump to a bunch of conclusions, especially after hearing that there was somebody who was an actual victim at the rally. Now, I will say this, the way that the news broke down and how the news came out does give some people grace because it was a little bit later on into the story that we heard that there was an actual victim. However, once that was there, any talks of this being some sort of stunt or hoax or whatever should have stopped immediately. Another place where the internet went totally wrong is them jumping to the conclusions as to who the supposed shooter was, throwing names out there and bringing harm and shame to them. This is some of the times where the internet really lets us down because they decided to go after this guy, Thomas Matthew Crooks, and say that he was the supposed gunman. Then there was also another guy who was getting hit with claims that he was the shooter when I don't even think he was there at the rally. He had to come out and debunk any myths or anything that he was the actual shooter. Now, they did get the shooter involved in the situation. A lot of people saw him, like they said, go up on this roof, and apparently he's been had some disdain for Republicans and Donald Trump before. Now, I will say on the brighter side, they did get the shooter, and they ended up ending his life as well, but it's still crazy because he was literally able to get on the roof and take an attempt on Trump's life, whether it was a glass shard or not that hit the president. Again, hey, I don't want to make this political, but it's political. The person who shot him was a white guy who was registered as a Republican. But two factual things that we do know was he was a white guy, which a lot of people were speculating about, and two, that he was registered Republican. Now, this was a total mismanagement all around. I mean, there's no way he should have been able to get on top of the roof. There's no way that the ex-president, president, whatever, should have had his life attempted on, no matter how you do feel about him. Again, this is not a political channel, and I'm not here to make a political stance. When I see things on the internet, we report on them. But ultimately, people should not be getting their life's attempted attempted by anybody. That's totally insane. If you don't want to see him as the president, go out there and vote. I know that's not what a lot of people want to hear, but to take matters into your own hands is revolutionary, but it's crazy at the same time.